Hello and welcome back. Now, before creating the service class, I would like to start by creating a class that contains the same fees like those we created in the schema. So in my command line here, I'll just type ng g class to generate a class and I'll call the class country. So next, I'll open up the class and add the following fees to the class. So public name that is the name of the country of type string and also public capital of type string these are the two fields that we define in the schema and next i'll just go ahead and add the following field public underscore id also of type string now this is generated the id is generated when we insert the schema in the database it is auto generated i'll make this optional this is because when we are creating a new country we don't need the id field and when we are doing an update operation the id field is needed so by so doing we are able to create a new object that contain either these two fields or all of the fields then back in the command line, I'll just go ahead and generate a service class by typing here ng g service and I'll place that in a folder called shared and I'll just call this country. And by so doing, Angular will generate a service class called country service. So that is done. We have here a service class in this folder. Next, we need to add the service class as a provider in the app module.ts file. So I'll just copy this and open up the app module.ts file. Then I'll start by importing that here. So import country service. This should be from country service. And we we'll add that here as a provider. And next, I'll also just go ahead here and add the Angular HTTP client module. So, again, import HTTP client module from Angular common HTTP. And this should also be added as an import here. So with all of this now in place, I can start developing the service class. This class will basically contain the methods that sends the various HTTP requests to the server. So we need to start by importing here the Angular HTTP client. And this should be from Angular common HTTP. And we also need here the HTTP headers. So I'll also just add that import here. This one. Next, I'll just go ahead and import here the country class that we just created. So import country from, here we go up one level and import this country. Then I'll inject this HTTP client module here as a service. So private, I'll just call it HTTP of type HTTP client. So next, I'll just go ahead here and define a base URI. So private base URI of type string. And I'll set it to HTTP localhost. 
8080. So this is the port that our backend application runs on. So next I use these HTTP headers here to define the kind of data we are going to be communicating with the client, which is of type JSON. So private, I'll just call that headers. And in Angular HTTP client, we can set it as follows. So set content type This should be application JSON. So with that in place, I will then start creating the various methods that sends HTTP requests to the server. So the first method I will create here, I will just call it create country which will send a post request to create a new country. So we need to pass into this method as parameter the country we want to create. And the post request should return some kind of response, which should either be the newly created country or an error. So return this dot post sorry this dot http dot post then we'll pass in the URI of that post method we should start with this base URI and we also need to add in create here next we pass in the data we want to create which is this country and an object here which is the headers so I'll just call it headers this dot headers next I'll do another method that returns all the countries from the backend so I'll just copy this and paste it here and I'll call this rate countries this takes no country object and here we change this to get and change this one here to rate and we also get rid of this country here and next we do another method that update a country in the database so I'll copy this one here and paste it here and change this to update country then we change this to put and this should then be update this should be put here the rest remains the same and next I'll just go ahead and copy this one here and do another method that delete a country so I'll change this to delete country this takes in the ID of the country we want to delete which is of type string then this one should be delete and we pass in the ID as a path parameter so plus ID here and this should be a delete request so I'll change this to delete so with that we are basically done with the service class in the next tutorial we are going to continue developing from here until then see you